Hey friends, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you the basics and how to initially manage an injury due to burns. As usual, I've left you timestamps in case you want to jump right into the management part. Types of burns. So the burns are generally classified according to the severity and are called uh, degrees. So there are four degrees of burns, one, two, three, and four, which is important for doctors in case of treatment. And the things we should know is how to manage them initially. So these injuries can be caused either by heat chemicals or even electricity. For your understanding, I've divided the types into mild, moderate and severe. Coming to the milder form of the injury. So this is how the first degree burn looks like. They look red, which may or may not be associated with some amount of skin peeling. This can be painful, but not as painful as the second or third degree ones. It is caused most commonly by touching a hot surface such as pan or more typical example for this is a sunburn. Mild electric shock can also cause this type of injury. The first aid for this type of injury is to wash it with running water and it will heal in 4-5 to five days without scarring. It might be painful for a day but generally it doesn't require any treatment. Coming to the moderate, both the second and third degree injuries comes under this category. This is caused mostly by direct fire or in contact with very hot surface for a prolonged period. So an example for this is an accidental oil splash while cooking or even by boiling water. They can vary from reddish white patch of the burnt area to multiple sized blisters. This type can be excruciatingly painful. So the first step is to remove any piece of clothing that might be still burning and show the injured area under cold water. I'm talking about 15 degrees cold running water for minimum of 10 minutes. Once it is cold, then apply silver nitrate ointment over the burn. You might have to take painkillers. As I told earlier, it can be very painful. Unfortunately, if this happens by chemical, do not try to neutralize it. Just gently brush off the excess powder and follow the previous step I told you. Do not try to burst or press the blisters as it forms. It is a protective mechanism and breaking this will lead to severe infections. One more important thing to remember is to increase your protein intake as this will hasten the healing process. When it comes to second or third degree injury, uh, you would want to visit a hospital when the wound size is more than the size of your palm. So most of it will heal in 10 to 15 days without scarring. Now coming to the severe form of the burn, which is also called as fourth degree burn, which almost always require hospitalization. They can happen by one of the two things, either by fire or by electric shock. They are usually very deep burns with reddish and almost charred skin, sometimes even destroying the bones and muscles. Person may or may not be conscious. So if you see a person with four degree burns, just remember that he would have inhaled carbon monoxide, which is a poisonous gas from the fire. So immediate hospitalization is important. Again, here the first thing is to remove all the clothes and accessories that he might still be wearing while waiting for the paramedics. Person with these type of injuries cannot uh, be managed at home. Now coming to the end of the video, the important points to be remembered is always wash the wound with running water and do not submerge it. Remember to check the second wound in case of burns due to electric shock because the second one will be a lot bigger when compared to the point of contact. And the most important thing again I'm saying is never break the blisters. And also heat high protein containing meals. The reason behind it is burns tend to take away the proteins from your blood. So always visit a hospital when you feel that something is wrong even when the injury is mild. That's all for the video. Hope you've learned something new. Thank you.